Hello and welcome to Debbie Loves Designing. Well, I made a lovely pair of, well, not a lovely pair, one, one earring using these lovely Malachi crystal chippings. They have a lot of uh, benefits to wearing these. Um, also, I just put them on some wire. I think they're very lovely. So what you will need is some Malachi crystal chippings. I've got about six on the on the earrings. So, but I always keep a couple more. They're roughly the same size. Yeah, I like the little, little sizes. I think that looks quite cute. So what I'm using is 22 gauge wire. It's three pieces which I've cut. They are well you can you can have them long if you want, but these are about let's see about inch and a half each piece of wire. But I mean obviously if you want the earring to be a longer longer you can. And you'll also need a jump ring to hold it together you'll need some uh, earring hook need a cutter chain those pliers and uh, round those pliers so let's begin well as I say I've already cut my my uh, wire into three so all you have to do is pick up your uh, your round those pliers and at the have it at the very tip and just make a loop turn a loop like that try and close it a bit more and then with this So we're going to make the loop at the end and then we're going to close it. I'm just going to bring that in a little bit more so that it's completely closed. Yes, it's completely closed now. And then what we can do is start to thread on six of these Malachi crystals. So just thread them on because they've already come with these with the little holes. So I'm going to thread on the six. And uh, as I say, the, the sizes do vary slightly, but that's part of, uh, I think that makes it quite, quite cute really. So just going to put on another three and make sure you leave a, a gap at the end because we need to make a loop, make a loop on the other end. So, yeah. We'll just push that on. Just gonna push that on. Thread that on like that. All right, so now that I've got all of them on, I'm gonna just make a hoop on the other side. I'm gonna grip the end. I'm gonna grip the end with my round nose pliers and then just turn it to make a hoop, a nice secure hoop that will just close it in. So, so you should have a, a, a secure hoop at each side. And also what I would like to do is look at the other earring to make sure it's looks roughly the same size then next we're going to pick up the one piece of wire and make a hook I'm not going to close the hook but make like a, a half hook because we're going to thread it onto the other piece piece that i've just done so just make like a half hook almost closed but not fully closed Right, it's almost closed. So I'm just gonna hook it onto the other 
bit that I just made by hooking it on and then closing it. You can either use your chain nose pliers or your uh, these round nose pliers just to close it together. I'll pick up the other piece of wire like that and make take pick up your chain nose pliers make half a hoop do the same thing click the end make half make well a hoop but don't close it fully just keep it slightly open because we're going to hook it onto the other piece of earring so i'm going to close it But I'm going to leave a slight gap like that. That will do. So we pick up the earring and just hook it on the other bit. Make sure that, that the they're facing the right way. So I'm going to hook that on. Hook that on. So it should look like this. It should look like a like a swing. <laughs> Please and bring it. Yeah, it should look like a kind of swing. Right. So we're just going to go to the other side and make a hoop. Just grip the other side. And just make a hoop make a full one make sure it's closed in not quite closed in so I'm just going to go in and push it down so it should that should be closed I think there's a I think I can see a slight oh yeah I can see a slight opening so I will bring it back in and push it together and then repeat the procedure on the other side, but make sure the direction of the hoop is the same. This this hoop here is going that the same direction as this hoop here. So just clamp it. Use the end. Make sure there's nothing here. Clamp it. Make sure there's nothing here, and then just give it a a close. Slightly close, close the whole thing in. You can see it. See, there's still a gap there, so we're just going to bring it together. So it should look like this, and then just bring it together. We're going to bring these two together because we're going to put pick up the jump ring. We're going to pick up the jump ring, and we're going to well, it's open anyway, so. Jump rings open, we're going to pick it up and we're going to hook it together. We up one side. Then the other side. See, you see both of the... Both of these loops are facing the same direction. These loops here. And then we're going to pick up the earring hook, put that on, pick up the chain nose pliers, bring it together. Oops, I'll use my hand. I'm going to bring it together. So I think I'll use my hand because it's a bit slippery sometimes when I can bring it. Yeah, use your hand and just kind of close this hoop. Like that. I think I'll pick up my chain nose pliers so just to secure it a bit more. Because there's a, a slight gap. Right, so I've closed the gap. And there we have 
another earring, another crystal earrings, Malachi. Crystal earrings. And there is the other one. Make sure they look the same. I mean, the, the, the uh, Malachi crystals are a little chipping, so they, they are going to have a slight variation to each chipping. But I think that makes it look quite nice when they've got their little, little I don't know what we call it, ins and outs. The little varying variation. So I'm really pleased with these. So these are Malachi crystal earrings and they have a lot of healing benefits to it. I will put the benefits of it in the description or you can always look it up. But uh, thank you so much for taking time out to watch my channel. I try and post a video. I'll try and post one. I want to post some more because I've got so much ideas in my head. Um, that I want to make so much ideas in my head. I've wrote them. I've put. I've, I've drawn them, but I haven't actually done them. So I want to. Uh, so thank you so much for taking time out to watch my channel. Um, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Um, thank you for supporting the channel. Please follow me on my Instagram. And also I'm on Pinterest. I will put the link down below. I'm on Twitter, but I'm more active on Instagram because that's my favourite. And I'm on Pinterest. So thank you so much for watching my channel. Please like if you if you like the chat if you like the channel, please comment, please share to others that would like to make some lovely stuff. Thank you so much for watching the channel. Bye bye for now.